All right, good morning, everyone. Louis Borsellino, and today is December 1st, and uh, this is the ES Morning Call. All right, we got some action this morning. It looks on, like on the downside, which is not a bad thing. It is a good thing. Uh, I guess we should start. Uh, let's start on the bottom, right? So we got a low of 252, 2052. Um, our pivot is in a buy right here, okay, after being in a sell, uh, went to a buy about uh, 2.30 this morning, and we kind of been basically, uh, after it made the low, rally back up, took the pivot out. Uh, I'm sorry, took the pivot out right here. So it went back to a buy, and we kind of just been sitting there. Uh, our bull bear zone is actually 20.57 and a quarter. So we're sitting right at it. This beige line was the top of uh, 2058 half was the top of the IB range for um, uh, for Globex, and um, there was a big, big um, initial five minute period. So you see the high here, 2064 when it opened at uh, uh, 5 uh, p.m. It Broke all the way down to basically 2055, so there was a, a like a uh, what is that 900 point uh, opening range. 2064 is the high is the high today. All right, so um, so what we got going on this morning is um, we I think we're going to get a rally on the opening because I think they're going to flatten out these uh, the overnight shorts, the inventory, and um, uh, we got a high up here at 64. Um, we got S1 at 61.75 right here. We got the bottom of value at 20.65, and then I put this here. This is 20 uh, 20.71.75. And 2072, which is the top of value, um, 2070, uh, actually 2072 is the top of value, and it also is the uh, point of control. So um, I think we're going to get a little bit of a test. The S&Ps are down with uh, 850 right now. We got the uh, um, Nasdaq. You got the Dow down 60. You got the Nasdaq down 13. The Russell down four and a half. Um, so like I said, we're going to get a rally and, uh, um, uh, I'll be looking for, you know, like I said, I always, I don't trade against my pivots, you know, they're long. I might not be in agreement with them right now, but, uh, I think we're going to, I'm going to see what happens in the first, you know, uh, first, uh, initial balance period and, uh, look for that. Um, I'd like to see the market head down to 2041 half. That would be a nice little correction before they start rallying it again this week or next week um, here is the here's the day chart and profile the day chart and profile so uh, this area right here is 2054 which we've already tested today and then we're you know I've, I've been looking for this area right here which would be 2036 half 2036 half so right in here, 2036 half. Um, there's 2047, 2041. So uh, I, I don't think those are out of the question. Um, here's the overnight profile, sort of what it looks like um, right here. Kind of evenly distributed with the mode sitting at uh, 2057, 2057. Um day session from Friday right there so uh, you know we had talked about last week how it needed to fill in this area when I put all these things back together you know and um, so you know I just think it's building momentum it's not going to have a major correction right before uh, Christmas so um, I thought I saw some good numbers on uh, Black, uh, what the shopping was at Black Friday, uh, or larger than expected. So, um, 
we'll see what happens. Um, like I said, I'm going to probably sideline it until uh, after the initial balance period or and uh, see what kind of direction we got going there. Um, that's about it. Uh, hopefully we'll get some action this week, uh, back to regular normal trading ranges and so on. So, um, like I said, bull bears own 57 and a quarter. I think they're going to rally it on the, on the, uh, opening and flatten out some of these shorts from overnight. And then, uh, we'll, it'll make up its mind after that. All right. Uh, looking for like 2061 half, 2062, uh, up to there. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.